walking and talking. I want to start with a couple of questions. Would you describe yourself as a naturally shy or a confident person? I think I'm both. I think I was probably born both. Sometimes I'm fantastically shy, and then other times I can do anything. Well, first of all, modeling, you already have to have a certain confidence. I to also be grew it. Grew I confidence. grew the confidence because I was short. I had this gap between my teeth. I had a funny nose. One side of my face goes up, one side goes down. I, I had to get everything together, which I would practice in a mirror to just make the muscles work different ways. Interesting. Now I've forgotten all that stuff because I don't really <laughs> do it much anymore. Did you used to look at magazines and try and sort of... Oh, I studied. Yeah, studied. I studied poses, I studied looks, I did all that, I studied makeup. So then I imagine this confidence or this shyness, because I always imagine when you're a model, you have to have a certain confidence in order to sort of portray something. But when you're an actress, it's like even double or triple yeah. that. So, a sliver of the other. So for you, was there, was there a sort of an easier, well, a more enjoyable one? Gee, I never thought about it like that. <laughs> I like them both. That's I good. really like them both. Your life as a model gave you a lot, I imagine, in terms of travel, right? I had one idea from the time I remember thinking. My sister, she said, I always told her when I washed the dishes and she dried, that I was always talking about all the countries. I was going to go to New York, I was going to become a big designer, giant okay, designer, sure. and I was going to take the money, and I was going to go all over the world. I was going to go to Africa, Indonesia, and there, and there. And jungles and forests and where do you think this was born from where was this idea from was it from books or was it from family experience or? i think it was tarzan the serial tarzan that was shot out here in tarzana and they looked like adults that were having fun i mean i didn't like jane she was always um, sweeping in the treehouse i didn't want to have anything to do that whatsoever you wanted to be tarzan <laughs> yes i had to be tarzan and uh it just looked like adults having fun and I thought, then it's okay to be an adult. Right. What do you think traveling taught you? What do you think traveling gave you? In terms of your outlook on life or spiritually, philosophically? Well, first, the reason I became a model was so I could have choice. I realized that I would have to buy time and that that was going to take money. And I found out what they made and I went for it. In the beginning, I told you it was mostly European. Right. Girls, we had we made a dollar a minute. We worked six jobs a day if we weren't doing editorial, and then you'd be there all day, and you'd make what you'd make in one hour That's in the real insane. places. Can you just tell us about the change that happened with your pay when you asked for or demanded a contract? Because I think it's such a massive influence on what is going on today. Because you went from, like you said, making a dollar a minute. To making $10,000. Well, not a minute. Right. <laughs> unfortunately. It was like, well, I realized I read about a football player named Catfish Hunter. And I thought, we're athletes. We're absolutely athletes. Good ones. The good ones are. Right. And so that's when I said, okay, you want me? Sign on the line. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have worked with so many of my heroes. Did you have a favorite in terms of photographers? Pen Avedon, Avedon Pen. Pen Avedon. And, uh, and my cell was awful good. But the guys I worked with the most was, was the great Irving Penn and Richard Avedon. Right. And did and they both teach you different things in terms of like, complete different styles? Absolutely. They yeah. taught me different things all the time. Pen remind me about dead fish. The dead fish and the fingers. Through, yeah, give them a finger or something just hanging there. <laughs> no, they, they, I mean, we all, we all talked back. I was always coming back from someplace spectacular. Right. with you know magic people and they were telling me things dick would tell me all these stories with all these people that he had shot with that were fantastic right. and Penn was telling me things that happened to him in this place and that place and well you know what's really weird about that is people talked those days nowadays everybody's got yeah. their phones yeah so we're all lost in our own bubble if you if you were able to give your younger self any good advice what would mm. it be well i would tell myself to keep the money myself and figure out where to put it to make it grow right and not buy frivolous dumb things Ooh, okay like things that will change like if you were going to buy something make sure you can wear it 20 years from then uh -huh. and keep yourself in the shape that you can wear it 20 years <laughs> from then Okay, so uh, thank you very much. You're amazing. I had a great time with you. You're really good. That's it.